Previously on Guardians of the Galaxy. You don't know a lot about me, but before I met you guys, there was someone. She's gone now, but maybe with that relic I can make her ungone. I know you've got a lot on your mind, but that kid you fought, maybe he does too. Promise me in the future, you'll use your words instead of your fists. I will, Mom. I promise. Thank you, baby. The Eternity Forge resides here, pending such time as it can be wielded responsibly. Until then, she shall remain entombed across the galaxy. Come find me, Peter. I'll be waiting for you. I got it, Mom. Thanks, baby. Ugh. Another headache? <sighs> Just a little one. Stop worrying. It's fine. Just took me by surprise. I wish I could help. I know you do. Some things, Peter. They're not yours to control. I better get that prescription before the pharmacy closes. Stay out of trouble till I get back, okay? Be good. I know that's not always easy for you. I'll be a perfect little angel. Like always. Hmm. I better hurry back then. I'll be back soon. Hey, Pete. Hey, Mr. Pinkle. Here to get that mixtape copied? Yeah. Sure is a nice thing to do for your mom. How's she doing, anyway? She's fine. Well, glad to hear it. Both sides? Come back in about an hour, and it'll be ready. Hey, Petey! You make that mix for your boyfriend? Ha 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 ha. Oh, shut up, Clarence. You brain-dead kid? I've told everybody a million times I go by my last name. King. Afraid I'm gonna break it again? <laughs> you afraid I'm gonna hit you again? <laughs> Listen to you. Pretending you got balls! Hey, how's that lip doing? Gimme that. What are you doing here anyway? You don't have money. Everyone in town's talking about it. Your mom can't even pay her medical bills. She's been going door to door asking for help like some pathetic loser. She's probably off looking for change in the sewers right now. Yeah, maybe she'll get lucky and find a quarter. Come on. Let's not do this, man. Do what? We're just talking. You gonna cry now? Huh? What are you going to do about it? Ugh. 
stuff about you about our family I did this for you mom I don't care what he said those are just words and this is the last thing I ever would have wanted are you okay I think he might have broken my jaw we talked about this Peter you promised me you wouldn't fight and look what you did to that poor boy I I can't believe you <coughs> Mom! Oh, God. I'll call an ambulance. You're so close, Peter. How did I get home? Okay? Because this temple is really messing with my head. Hello, Gamora! Ah! Whoa! Hey, Gamora! Come on, what? Nebula. What are you doing? You can do better than that. What the hell is wrong with you, Gamora? You could have killed me! Ah! Come on, this isn't fair! I don't have a sword! Focus, Nebula. You need to be aware of everything around you. Perception's just as important as strength and speed. None of them are important when I'm stuck here. I want to use what you've taught me somewhere outside of this room. I'm sick of just doing the same thing over and over. You're not ready yet, Nebula. You still have a lot to learn. Oh, really? Is that what you think? Looks like you've lost your touch. <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> that was actually a little impressive. <laughs> Just a little? You're hurting me! Father! Ah! 
Nebula, you have grown so much. Father. You may yet be the greatest assassin in the galaxy. Don't you agree, Gamora? <laughs> Well, she does have the best teacher. I wouldn't expect anything less. And yet Nebula is the one who disarmed you. Perhaps the teacher might learn from the student. I have a mission for you. You will go to a Kree outpost on the planet of Phalion. There you will find General Tarval. He has come into possession of something I require. A device. Gamora. You will fetch the device for me. You, Nebula. You will kill the General. Thank you, Father. I, I promise you, I will succeed. I know you will, daughter. Gamora. You were always my favorite. But you have become cold. Distant. Forcing me to look to Nebula to tighten the slack. Whether I believe she's capable or not. We will not disappoint you, Father. But you already have, Gamora. Otherwise, you would not be taking Nebula with you. Go and prepare. You will head out immediately. And Gamora, I know you no longer care. But if you fail... Your sister will pay for your missteps. Tell Nebula I wish to speak with her. <sighs> Is everything all right? What's going on? I couldn't hear you, but Father... He didn't look happy. <sighs> Thanos wants to talk to you. To me? This is it. My chance to prove myself. Or fail miserably. <sighs> Don't worry, Nebula. I've got your back. No. I've got to do this myself. It's what I've been training for. I won't let Father down. Let's just do this. Nebula! 
Nebula! Nebula, are you all right? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me! My father will be so upset with me. I won't tell Thanos, I promise. We'll keep it to ourselves. Father... Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me, now! I'm not asking here. Do it! No, that's not how this works. I don't take orders from you. Then you leave me no choice. What are you- tried to stab me! So maybe we're even! Perhaps. I don't know what happened. One minute you and I were walking into the temple, and the next yeah, I was... Yeah, I, uh... I know. Wait, were you... Did you see all that? My memory? Are you okay? I never wanted to think of that time in my life again. I've really been trying to let Nebula go. But seeing that... She thought I was being selfish. Taking away everything she worked so hard to achieve. That's why she turned on me. And why she'll never forgive what I did. She tried to kill you! There is no excuse for that. Look, if anyone deserves to hold a grudge, it's you. That's not how Nebula sees it. That last moment, it became everything. All I remembered of her. But there were times we were happy, despite Thanos, despite everything. We had each other. Maybe, maybe I could have done more been more honest with how I was feeling. Stop just seeing her as someone I needed to protect. I know you, Gamora. And I know you tried your absolute best to protect her. Nebula can't see that? Then that's her problem. Not yours. Is it? Nebula is who she is because of me. That hatred. That coldness. Her inability to trust anyone. She is Thanos' daughter. Who else could she be after I betrayed her? I failed her. Listen, you are my friend. And I don't make friends with failures, okay? I, uh, don't think that's true. Look, the point is, no matter what you did in the past, I will always stand by you. You're awesome. I'm proud to call you my friend. That is so cheesy. I know, but I think I've made my point. Now come on. Let's figure out why the Forge brought us here before things get even more... weird. Oh, man. My mom loved this song. She played that record non-stop.
Peter, wait. This place... It seems to be using our memories against us. We don't know what we'll find inside. Or why it's been drawing us here. Don't worry, okay? I can handle whatever happens. I promise. I've heard that before. Oh, come on. That time I died? That totally doesn't count. Lead on then, but carefully. Do you recognize this place? Yeah. This is where my mom... Uh, this is where I saw her last. I don't know what all this means, Peter. But I hope somehow you get your mom back. Only one way to find out. Are you? You have known me for a while now. Not your mom, right? Definitely not. You... You came for me. After all these... Oh, what are these? They're very shiny. Hey, over here. Ah, <sighs> Peter Quill. Really, here? It's been centuries. No, millennia. How do you know who I am? We have met. But I was not me. Borrow that. Mm. You're gone. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. <sighs> Very well then. Wow, didn't see that coming. 
It is so wonderful to be free of that tomb. No longer trapped in my own mind. Alone. You are truly the hero the legends foretold. So brave and handsome. Though perhaps not in the classical sense. What? Ha! You must have many questions for me. Take your time. Why were you locked in here? So that you could find me. Not very helpful. I have been waiting for you all this time. The moment you touched the forge, I knew you were the Celestial One. That you could free me. So I reached out to you the only way I could. Through your memories. The ones most vivid to you. But you must understand, I had no control over them. I... Yes! You should be proud of freeing me! I no longer have to stare into the infinite crushing darkness. It was so... boring. How could you possibly know how he feels? I can show you, angry lady! Oh. No. Never mind. May I show you? Please, I mean no harm. Do it again! Do it again! Come on! With great pleasure! Oh, this isn't going to go well. Oh my! You and your friends truly are special. No wonder you are the ones to hold the Eternity Forge. It is an honor to be among you. You see, I am an empath. I can read the emotions of others. It is my duty to help the Celestial One decide the fate of the Forge. That could really come in handy. <laughs> oh, she's got to meet the rest of the group. Yeah, introduce an emotionally charged being to a group who are emotionally sensitive. <laughs> who should we try on first? I got just the one. <laughs> 